Fox 13's Good Day. Local for you all morning long. It's at 916. Latest newly minted millionaires come forward in South Carolina. He's the uh, winner of uh, last week's $400 million Powerball jackpot. We'll never know his name now. Apparently you can claim your money without releasing your name there. And, but we can still dream about what his life is going to be like and how it would have changed ours had we won. But the question is, does money really make you happy? Financial expert Bill Cummings back with us again. You know, I mean, we, we joke around about this. Well, of course yeah. money makes you happy, but does it? Well, I think there's a temporary gratification with money. And I always tell people that, you know, money is just a means to an end. And it can help you buy things that keep you from being unhappy. Like, for example, you need shelter, you need right. food, you need a home. You need those basic things. So it's just the degree of which you have money and you need to buy those things. Well, let's stay there for a second because I, I think you've led me into the next question. Shelter, food, uh, you know, all those things, those basic necessities. Right. There is a threshold of which people need to make enough money that they have those things. That is correct. And the, beyond that, it kind of becomes gravy. That is correct. Well, I mean, I always make the analogy to people that there's a difference between a home and a house. Oh, tell me that. Okay. You can have a big mansion, live by yourself, and be the most unhappy person yeah. in the world. But a home is a place where you live, where you have your kids, and it's a happy place to be. And you know, the amount of money between the two is a big difference. So that big mansion doesn't necessarily make you happy. It's what you make of it. You're the one that ultimately has to make your own happiness. All right, keep talking then. Mm -hmm. <laughs> keep, go <laughs> keep going here then. What's the rest of that conversation when you're having with one of your clients? Like, so here's what it takes. You can have a house, you can have a home. You have to be happy in your home. What do you need right. to be doing with whatever amount of money you have well, besides living? For I've had a lot of clients who've come from nothing and then through a business or however they, um, you know, obtain a lot of money. And the, the one common thread that they all have is that they were the same person before the money and the same mo person after the money. The money doesn't define them. They have their own happiness. Some of them don't need to work, but then they continue to work. Mm -hmm. So the, the money is just there to provide those basic needs, and it's their own inner self that makes them happy. It's their thing that they do. What happens, though, when the money changes you? Well, typically you run out of money. You hear about yeah. athletes. Yeah. You hear about Powerball winners, and they don't know how to act when they get the money because they think the money will solve all their problems, and you still have to deal with life every single day. People get sick. They get divorces. They have the same thing problems that people that don't have money. Right. I don't want you to give away any, any I know you can't say names or anything. Yeah. I wouldn't ask you that. But have you ever had to deal with somebody who's won, come across a large amount of money that they didn't have before? Yes, I have. And how, how do you sit them down? What do you, what do you start? What do you say to that person? I tell them that if they follow my advice, that they should have the same amount of money over a period of time and that you can't let that money define you. And we have to have a plan to deal with everything your taxes, yeah. how you're going to invest it, are you going to pass the money on, are you going to give it to charity, whatever it is you need to do. Um, and so we just sit down and we tell them how much they can live off of. And, and reasonably, I know we got to go, but reasonably, right. no, we're not, most of us are not going to win the lottery. Right. We're not going to win the lottery, but we might get something along the way, right? right? And if you get more than you had had before, right. talk to somebody, right? Absolutely. If you look at all the, you know, Warren Buffetts of the world, you know, he lives in the same home and he's a billionaire. Yeah, he but the thing that he always does is he surrounds himself with experts in different areas. Like I'm sure he has a good CPA that helps him. He has a good attorney. So he surrounds himself with experts that can give him great advice. You give great advice to me. Yeah. Good to see you. Russell, thank Glad you. Glad you were here. All right. Talk thank to you, you later. Take care.